We've got birds. And a drawing game. Grab a paper and a marker. Welcome to Sing Show. Stage and lights are all set up. So now we proudly present to you the Orchard Elementary Group Page Sing Show. The Orchard Elementary Group Page Sing Show. I see what you did there. That's, that's clever. Well, would you like to play a game? I would love to play a game. In fact, do you have a paper I, and a pen? Yeah. Word did you? Word of oh. the week. You've got a few minutes. <laughs> Word you didn't of get it. the I'll week. Grab it now. Word of the week. Oh. It's old school. It is. Old school it's word of the so week. Nostalgic. Oh, okay. I'm wondering. What was? <laughs> it's been a couple weeks. What was the last word of the week? Do you remember? Uh, Oh, there it is. Perennial. Oh my goodness. Mm. Plants that have been popping up all over in the gardens all around town. Oh my goodness, flowers are starting to bloom. I know. I just cut some of these flowers from our garden. We have artichoke ripening up yes. in the garden. They're not flowering yet, but you know, you don't eat the flower of the artichoke. The bud. The, yeah. yeah the, the, before it blooms. That's right. So now's the time. I'm going to get out there this week. And... <laughs> Have some artichoke. Yes. What do we have today? This week's word is photograph. I love this word because, speaking of drawing, this means to draw with light. It comes from the Greek words photo, which means light, and graph, which means to draw. And so it's like creating a picture with the light. That's pretty cool. Um, and wow. I think that is such an <laughs> appropriate word for this week because not only are we going to do a little drawing in just a moment here, we also have a very special guest who's going to talk to us about photos. And photography is right. art of creating art. photographs. I'm super excited I'm for send this one on its way. him to... Back. Back to whence you came. <laughs> there we go. Goodbye, perennials. Yay! Back to our collection. Have you been collecting great words out there? I hope so. Yes. I hope so. You know, um, I have a mystery drawing Ooh, for you. I love a mystery. Yeah. Um, so what That's we're going to try is I'm going to describe a drawing to you. Okay. okay. Uh, and Mrs. Ray is going to try to draw my drawing I described. Mm. You try it at home. And let's see if I do a good job of explaining 
what the drawing is, but I don't get to say what it is, hmm. and I can't use any words that so go along really with it. So I have to really listen carefully yeah. and... Hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right, you ready? If your paper looks different than mine, that's fine. Grab whatever you have, something to write with, something to write on. Here we go. All mm -hmm. right. Here it comes. All right. I'm the I'm looking at a picture, and uh, it's uh, it's got a circle in the middle. There's a circle in the middle, and then um, it's kind of a circle inside of a circle, and kind of scribbly circles in the middle. The, the inside circle is kind of scribbly. It's got like lots of lots of circly circles. And then um, it's got uh, a rectangle around the outside. So around the circle, there's a big rectangle. It's a big rectangle. Um, you got it? All right. Almost. 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 Okay. Give me, give me right. a moment. I've All got right. half of my, three quarters of my rectangle. And yep. Okay. And then um, on top, there's another like little rectangle above the circle. There's like a little rectangle on top. On um, top of the circle on or top the of, rectangle? On top of the rectangle. Ooh. Mm. Did you get that? I don't know if I was allowed to ask questions. Oh, I don't know. You we're, can make up your own up rules. We're making up our own rules yeah, here. Right. <laughs> okay. And then you can, uh, there's, a, there's a tiny little rectangle on top of the big rectangle, um, kind of on the left side. Ooh. And on the right side, there's a little oval on top of the rectangle. The big rectangle. Wait, say wait, say that again. On the right side, there's an oval. oval. Yeah, like an oval on top of the rectangle. Oh my goodness. Kind of like a, an oval up there. Okay, I think Did I you got, get it? I think I got an oval. All right, and um, an oval that reminds me of eggs. Did you go yeah. on an Easter egg hunt? Mm, I did. Ooh. Actually, I hid them. Yeah. Um, I think, and I think that's it. Ooh, so let's, uh, see. let's see. Turn. Let's see. Uh, what did you draw? I, I'm curious. Oh, you hold yours up first. No, you hold yours up first. Yeah, you first. Come on. Oh, oh, interesting. Here's mine. Oh, and see, this. What did you come up with? This is what I was trying to describe oh, to you. Oh, It's a camera. <laughs> kind of an old school well, camera. I was kind of close. I got some of the, yeah. mine is kind of like a spiral. It does look like a camera. I see what you mean. It does look yeah, like a yeah. camera. Hey. Well, not bad, not bad. I think you have one too, right? I do. Do you want to try, do you want to try one? All right, my turn. Okay. My turn to draw, and uh, Mrs. Ray's going to, Describe, but guess all right, what? All right. You can draw again. You get to play twice. Oh, lucky. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm listening. Oh, I'm a little nervous. I'm, I'm a little okay, nervous. Okay, let's too. see. Let's see. So, you're going to start with a circle, but it's not right in the middle of your page. It's just, imagine it just a little bit higher than the middle of your okay. page. Make a circle. Okay. All right. Got it. And then below that circle, you're going to make an oval, but it's hidden behind the circle. So hmm. the, the circle okay. is overlapping or on top of your oval. So the top of your oval is in your imagination. Oh, okay, got it, I think, maybe. All right, this could be interesting. It could be. <laughs> in the middle of <laughs> the circle, you're gonna make a letter V. Oh, okay. A V shape, like in the middle of your circle. Okay, all right, got it. And then on the sides, of the V, so how the V mm. angles out, you're gonna put a circle on each of those parts of the V. Okay. <laughs> this could get interesting. Right. And then on top of the has. circle, you're going to have a triangle on the left and the right. Sorry, okay. I have to. Triangles, that's okay. Um, I think it's okay. I have you to can kind put... of draw it with yeah. my. You can put. Uh... You can put, uh, you, you can use gestures. I okay, guess. okay. And finally, okay. oh wait, no, I had two finally. The two first finally. finally is... Penultimate. You're finally. going to make an oval at the bottom of the uh, the V. So it almost starts to look like a Y, but it's oh, 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 okay. a filled in oval. So, okay, all right. Okay. And? And I think I forgot to mention that... Oh inside the circles that are attached to the V. Okay. Wow, this is a lot going on. Oh, I, I might have so confused you. So you have your V. Got and it. the circles Got that the are circles. attached to the Vs make a filled-in circle in the middle of those. Okay. This game was a lot harder than I thought it would okay. be. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, you first, really. Come okay. on. Okay. Yeah. This was Be tough. brave. Be this brave. Was... All right, let's see. Oh, Okay. Let's see what yours um, is. Oh, not This, this not is what mine bad, looks like. Not this, bad. Not bad. It looks like a, some kind of angry I, I do see the thing. overlapping. You see the overlapping. My oval was in a different direction. Oh, though. I see. Um, 
a great horned. We've been studying owl. owls this yeah. week, and I was I was thinking about an owl. Well, mine kind of looks like the Angry Birds version. Maybe yours is owl, an maybe. owlet, like it's it's tucked down in the nest. Ooh, an owlet. <laughs> the baby um, owl. And that, is that where you plug the? <laughs> well, this week on Sing Show, we welcome a very special guest, but I think you should introduce him. I'd love to. Yeah. Our guest this week is someone who has recently visited our third grade class on Zoom to share his love of photography, in particular birds in flight. Wow, it's it's that's that's appropriate. I'm, I'm glad we invited him on this show. <laughs> what are the odds? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his work is really inspiring and I cannot wait for you to see it. So would you please give a big sing show welcome to my good friend Rick Morris. I did a bunch of hummingbird photography back in 2010, 2011. I actually did a hummingbird calendar from Costco one time. We're obsessed and on the quest to find the best for our bequest. To be impressed, to pass the test. We will not acquiesce. Our video is now compressed. Success, we suggest. Here's our special guest. Here's our special guest. Hey everybody, this is Rick of Rick W. Morse Photography. 2020 was a tough year for everybody, and I wasn't excluded from that. I lost my job April 10th, 2020, coming up on one year of that. So yeah, it's been a tough year for a lot of people. But for me personally, it's been pretty good. And I say that because with not working and um, having to stay home, it's given me a chance to think about what's really important to me. So I spent a lot of time with my two, children, two young children and my wife. But one good thing that came out of it is, you know, along with focusing on my family, it gave me a chance to reignite one of my passions. And really, one of my main passions is uh, photography. My parents both took a lot of pictures, so I was always asking them, hey, can I use your camera? Can I take pictures? You know, like, like my kids do with me. This is even when I was just a little guy. And so my parents, you know, were gracious enough to let me use their cameras. You know, back then it was just film, so it was like, uh, you took the pictures, you don't know what they looked like until they came back from uh, Long's Drugs or wherever you got them processed. <laughs> that was always fun. Open up the envelope and see what you got. Probably the most important thing, even more important than the camera, is, you know, how to find the birds, where to find the birds. When I first started this, I didn't really know where to go to find birds. I would get in my car and drive out and I struck out a lot, going to like places with nice flowers and I just, maybe they weren't flowers that produce nectar that the hummingbirds really like. And also I was going at the wrong time of day. You know, I get in my car, you know, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. That's like midday when the birds are usually probably in you know, sleeping or hiding in the trees or just trying to get out of the sunlight. Obviously birds are up at the crack of dawn. They're very active at the morning from 7 a.m. to probably 10 a.m. And then uh, they get active again from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. right when they get their dinner. The sun is lower. It produces a better light, soft light. But also I think the birds uh, probably like the, the, the less harsh light as well. I'm, I'm just guessing. You don't want to get too close to the bird. You want to respect their habitat and not get too close to them. So that's why that's why you need to have a good long lens. You need the ability to freeze the birds, freeze the action. And you know, you gotta shoot the birds before they fly away. That's that's super important. But uh, I wanted to share some of my, my pictures with you. Uh, so first, why don't we look at the, the hummingbirds. Where I started with hummingbirds back in May, June, July, August. taking pictures of raptors like hawks, uh, red shoulder hawk and red tailed hawk and uh, peregrine falcon and, and American kestrel and the bald eagle, white tailed kite. So those are those are all in the raptor category. I also had a chance to take a lot of pictures of shorebirds. Great blue heron, great egret, white snowy egret, 
black crown night heron. Those are really interesting looking. So, so a lot of shorebirds out there at, at the local, you know, some of the local lakes I go to, or the bay. The fourth category is just regular birds. The blue stellar jay, the blue scrub jay, spotted towhee, the acorn woodpeckers, um, and on and on. There's just so many of them. thing I could share is you know what do I use I've talked about it but here it is so this is this is the Nikon D850 it's a 45 megapixel DSLR I tried the mirrorless uh, didn't work out so well for me just because of the my need for autofocus uh, for birds in flight but this is the lightweight 500 millimeter prime lens and it's a great lens it's lightweight and I can carry this around I don't have to use a tripod most birders use a 500 millimeter, even a 600 millimeter, 800 millimeter uh, lens. And usually they're, they're, this is two and a half pounds I'm holding, just the lens. The larger lenses are, are gosh, they're probably like this big. And they're like five, five to eight pounds, I believe. And that's why these, these guys, out, you'll see guys out there with tripods and big giant lenses. And you know, they take fab, fabulous shots, but I just like to be mobile and walk around. So it gives me the reach to get closer to the bird and um, gives me good, some good quality photos that I can share out. Thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you're a bird lover. Thanks for taking care of the birds out there. Happy shooting, everybody. Thank you, Rick. I am so inspired now to go out and observe the birds that are flying around in my neighborhood. And you don't have to have a camera to go out and observe the world around you. You can use these two lenses right here. Uh, just your eyes, your ears, uh, maybe your nose. <laughs> and you can observe the world um, all around. Maybe a piece of paper and a pencil could be useful too. Join us next week to find out more about that. But first, we're gonna finish up this episode with a new song in celebration of the birds. This one, I wanna invite you to get up out of your seats and join me. We're gonna move like some of these birds. Get ready, here we go. I think I saw a few birds uh -oh. fluttering around. Carefully, get ready to observe. I'm gonna flap my wings like a hummingbird. Flap my wings like a hummingbird. 80 beats per minute, well that's absurd.
maybe faster. They're, they live in California, but they say Chicago. Well, they want to go there It's a again. nice place. The Windy City. The Windy City. City. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite bird? Oh, my goodness. Go ahead and uh, get that motion ready. Here we go. While I'm we watching. Let's see. Let's hum Join this us. one. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Gone to the birds. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Bye.